My name is Erin Webster and I'm the AP Art teacher here at Washington Union. AP Art um, prepares students to take the AP Art exam. Um, I specifically teach the drawing portfolio in this class and so it, they're all working on a sustained investigation um, that explores a, a series of three inquiry questions and all of their work kind of answers that inquiry. So um, throughout the year they'll be working on projects um, that all address the same inquiry questions. I have always loved art and as a high school student I was very involved in arts and my art teacher that I had, Robert Ogata, was very inspiring to me. Um, I didn't know I wanted to be an art teacher when I um, was in high school, um, but as I was working on my master's degree I started teaching at the college level and then I moved to high school and I realized that that was a great job for me. I think my AP class has a lot of benefits that's not just art related. My favorite part of this class is our class critiques, where the entire class discusses each other's work. We're, we pretty much can't get through a critique without um, passing a tissue box around. Um, my students are making work that's deeply personal to them. It can be emotional sometimes. I think that, you know, it's just, it's just amazing to watch them have that empathy for each other and, and share their, their souls, really, in their, in their artwork. My name is Adriana Gutierrez, and I am part of the Illustration Pathway. AP Art is all about using your skills and expanding those skills to create art projects for the College Board. What students usually do in AP Art is create 15 different projects, whether they experiment or stick in their comfort zone, and then present it as a class. I have benefited from AP Art by getting out of my comfort zone during presentations and just expanding like my skills, trying different things and experimenting.